Welcome to another fast tip video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate a moving average, also called a rolling average, in Microsoft Excel. So here I am in Excel, and I have a list of dates along with values for those dates. These could be stock prices. These could be order amounts, whatever you want to track. Now a moving average or a rolling average is simply taking the average over a specific number of intervals. You can do a rolling average over five days, seven days, 30 days, 100 days, whatever. So let's say you want to do a moving average over the last five days. So the first day you could do an average for would be right here because you got five data points, right? So it would be the average of those five. Then the average for the sixth would be averaging those five, the previous five values. So by the time you get down to here, your moving average is now the average of these. See how that works? That's a moving average. Now this is a simple moving average. There's also something called an exponential moving average. We'll cover that in a different video. Now to calculate the moving average, we just use the average function and make sure you have a relative reference to the cells that you want to average. So here, for example, in C5, I'll type in equals average, open parentheses, and then just select the previous five days that including that one of course press enter so there is the moving average over these five days and if you select those again you can see down here average right 15 okay now how do you bring this down for the rest of them well just use the autofill handle and look at that there's your moving average we're going to ignore those errors it just says formula omits adjacent cells yeah i know i know okay and there you go that's the easiest way to calculate a moving average see that average of those average of those, and so on. So that's your fast tip. Want to go into a little bit more detail? There's a thing called the Analysis Tool Pack that you can install. It comes with Excel, but it's not installed by default. If you go to Data, it gives you a little button right over here under Data Analysis. See that? Okay, you might not see this button. If you don't see that button, go to File, come down to Options, go to Add-ins, and then you'll see the Analysis Tool Pack. It'll be down here under Inactive. So just click on it and then click on go down here. Okay. And then hit okay. And you'll see this button is added right there. It's not the same as that. That confuses a lot of people under analysis on the home tab. You got analyze data, totally different. I don't know why they named these so similar. It's under data and then data analysis. All right. So let me get rid of this and let me show you what this button does. Watch this. Click data analysis. You get this guy. They got all kinds of different options in here, right? Regression, samplings, t-tests. I don't even know what some of this stuff is, but there's moving average right there. Hit OK. All right. Your input range, Excel does its best to try and guess for you. B1 to B16 right there, right? Yep. All right. How many intervals do you want? You could do 5, 6, 10, whatever. And where do you want the output range to go? I want it to go right there. Okay. Now, chart output is going to give you a nifty little chart to go with it. It saves you a step from having to make a chart. All right. Hit OK. And there you go. Now, it can't calculate a moving average because there's not enough data points up there, so we'll just delete that. And then again, we'll ignore these errors. Ignore. And there you go. There's your handy little moving average, and you get a little nifty little chart here. Look at that. Okay. And you can see how the moving average kind of smooths out the data points, right? You don't have these big jumps and uh, peaks and valleys here. It kind of averages out. There you go. There's your moving average. Want to learn more Excel? Come visit my website for many more free videos, including an hour-long Excel beginner course. Absolutely free. And make sure you let me know. Email me and say, I want more Excel. Most of my videos are from Microsoft Access. It's what I mostly do. But I also know Excel. So you want to learn more Excel? Send me an email. Let me know. I want more Excel. <laughs> See you soon.